Here's some of the best sub $200 monitors on the market. And I do realize the $200 price point is a little bit higher than most of you guys are probably going to want to spend. So comment down below if you want me to make a video on a $100 price point or $150 price point, and I'll love to make that video. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Also, a quick little side note, all the monitors that you see in this video are going to be linked down below. First up is this MSI 24 inch monitor at 144 hertz. It's a 24 inch monitor at 144 hertz with a one millisecond response time, and not only that, the thing looks super good. One of the key features of this monitor uses the MSI No Glare technology. It helps diminish glare on your monitor or completely remove it, which is a game changer when you have dark scenes on your monitor and it's really hard to see. Now, coming in at just 190 bucks, this thing is honestly such a deal. And yes, I know that sounds like a lot right now, but this monitor market right now is just so crazy. You also have to remember though, almost every monitor right now is anywhere from $20 to $50 more expensive. Now it is a 1080p monitor and it does use a VA panel, but honestly, it's really not a bad deal because you are getting 144 hertz and the no glare technology. Not only that, one of the really cool features of this monitor is it's even curved. In my opinion, you don't really need it for a 24 inch monitor, but it's still super cool to have. Now next up is the Acer Predator 27 inch monitor. It's a 244 inch monitor that only comes in at 206 bucks. Now I do realize that's a little bit above the price point, but this monitor is just insane. It's literally the cheapest 240 hertz monitor on the market right now. And in my opinion, one of the best deals on a monitor you could possibly get as of right now. Now that it uses an IPS panel, which is the bare minimum for monitors right now, but it's still super nice to see in this price point. Now that it even has G-Sync and one millisecond response time, which is all very basic features, but it's still super nice to see. And of course, the design of this monitor is absolutely amazing. Now I get it, the design of a monitor really doesn't matter, but having thinner bezels and still having a cool looking monitor is always a plus no matter what. And one of my personal favorite things about this monitor is that it has 400 nits of brightness. And I know most of you probably don't think that's a big deal, but it really is. I know right now my current monitor is only 300 nits of brightness and it is seriously different from my old monitor. Having higher brightness also reduces glare, which is honestly so nice, especially when you're playing FPS games and you're in a darker climate. And not only that, as an added feature, it even has built-in speakers, which is so nice if you don't already have speakers. And by the way, if you don't already have speakers for your setup or your PC, I highly suggest grabbing some. They are so nice to have. And one of the coolest features that they have added into it is it has two USB ports on the side. And this is honestly just so nice because you don't always have to reach on your desk or behind your PC to plug something in. You can simply just plug it into your monitor and that's it. But the one thing I don't love about this monitor though is that it is renewed. Which pretty much means is that it was used but then went back to the factory to get renewed and it's pretty much new now. Nine times out of ten there's no problems with these monitors but sometimes you have a problem and it's just really annoying. But if you want to pick this monitor up you should be perfectly fine. And finally onto the last monitor. And this is the Acer 29 inch ultra wide monitor. Coming in at just 200 bucks, this is an amazing price point for an ultra wide monitor. The one problem with this monitor though is it's only 75 hertz. I know for a lot of you, 75 hertz is super slow, and I get it is, but trust me, this monitor is worth it. Because it is an ultra wide monitor, most likely you're gonna be using it for productivity or creative work. But the one really cool thing about this is, is supposedly it can reach up to 100 hertz. Now Acer itself didn't say this, but looking through a lot of forums and a lot of reviews and whatnot, a lot of people were saying you could actually get this monitor all the way up to 100 hertz. Now just take my word for a grain of a salt, because I don't know if this is true, but I really hope it is. But it does also come with the basic features like one millisecond response time and also free sync. Now the biggest thing for why I chose this ultra wide is because it is curved. And if you want to have an ultra wide in your setup, I highly suggest getting curved ultra wide because it's going to look so much better and be so much more useful. Now this one in particular is refurbished. So it has been used, sent back to the factory and made pretty much new again. So you may have some difficulties with it or you may have some problems with it. But if you do, you should be able to just return it perfectly fine. But nine times out of 10, these monitors are perfectly fine. Now this one in specific only does have a VA panel which does kind of suck but for that $200 mark you're getting an ultra wide with possibly 100 hertz that is an amazing deal especially in this market now personally out of all these monitors I would have to go with the ultra wide because I am dying to get an ultra wide on my setup and I've been wanting one for so long I just want to remind you guys, everything is linked below to Amazon links. Now they are associate links, so if you buy these monitors or anything else with the links, I get a little bit of money back and it really doesn't hurt you at all. But if you like this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you like this video enough where you want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe because I got a bunch of new content coming very soon. But I want to hear from you guys. What content do you want to see? So comment down below what videos you want to see in the future. And see ya.